A renowned and decorated coach of middle distance runners, including Ethiopian Olympic 1,500 meter favorite Genzebe de Baba, has now been arrested in Spain. Somali national Jama Aden was arrested in a doping raid at a Spanish hotel on Monday. Spanish media also reported that a performance enhancing drug EPO was allegedly found in his room. Aiden's most prominent athlete, Dibaba, the reigning world champion and world record holder in the women's 1,500 meters, has not been implicated in performance enhancing drug use. Aiden previously coached reigning men's 1,500 meters champion, Tafik Makloufi of Algeria. Well, let's bring you more on this now. We are joined by CCTV's Dan Williams live in Madrid. Uh, Dan, what more do we know so far about this arrest? Yes, Operation Real began at 8.30 this morning in Sabadell, which is on the outskirts of Barcelona, uh, where Catalan police uh, swooped on Hotel Arahona uh, in order to make these arrests. Uh, along uh, with uh, Jama Adel, uh, there was also a Moroccan uh, physiotherapist that was also uh, arrested as well. Now we understand, as you pointed out there, that the, the uh, Catalan police also then uh, found samples of uh, uh, other uh, paraphernalia of, drug of doping use, uh, such as up to 60 syringes and anabolic steroids, as well as EPO. And, um, and after that, the arrests were made, so then, the, uh, according to reports, the police then went to the track where the up to 30 athletes were training, brought them back to the hotel where the IAAF then uh, undertook doping tests. Now, under Spanish law, they face up to two years in prison, the, uh, the two that, uh, that uh, were arrested, and the uh, Spanish uh, authorities have up to 72 hours in order to bring, uh, a, 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 to bring a prosecution. Well, as you say, we, I suppose we'll have to wait uh, until those results then of that testing um, becomes public. But at this stage, have any key athletes been implicated in this doping sting? No, the athletes uh, have not as at this stage. Under Spanish law, uh, then only those that supply uh, doping uh, materials uh, face any kind of punishment, uh, according to the to the Spanish prosecutors. Of course, the IAAF, uh, it's a different story for them. And of course, they will now be rushing through these tests as soon as possible with, of course, the Rio Games less than 50 days away. So the focus is really now on the IAAF, uh, those athletes, even if they're found to have, uh, have uh, illegal substances, would not, as I say, face any kind of prosecution but of course very very serious allegations they face suspension ban uh, and uh, other punishments as well um, and of course we have to wait to see if there will be further arrests Spanish authorities leaving that door open as well of course there were other coaches there as well and of course we wait to of course to find out who exactly was there at the time according to the reports Spanish police also uh, took recordings as well in advance uh, so maybe there's a weight of evidence that will all come out. No, very serious questions uh, that really need to now be answered. Absolutely. Well, thanks very much for that update. Dan Williams, live for us there in Madrid.